Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to simulate a card flipping effect on Google Slides. Here's my deck of cards. Here's the back of my deck of cards. And then I'm going to flip my cards. Okay, now here's my front card. I can move that to the side and I'm going to flip this one. Here's the front to my next card. So I'm just flipping my cards. And this is what we're going to do today. So here I have a card sample that I created using uh, the shape tool. And then I just entered a text in there to show you that this is the card front. So once I've created a shape or have my object, I can create the back to make them the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this shape. So what you can do is you can either click Control C and then Control V for copy and paste, or you can do the short way, which is uh, Command or Control D, and that will duplicate that card for you. So once you have duplicated that card, what you're going to do is you can change this card. So we know that this is the back, and uh, I'll also change the color so we can uh, tell the difference between the two. So now I have my front and my back. So my front card can be whatever I want it to be. My back card will stay the same because all the back cards should look the same. So once I have my front and back done, I can just duplicate each one of them. So here I'm going to duplicate this, and here I'm going to duplicate that. Again, Command or Control D. Okay, so then I'm going to take this card, these cards and move them. I'm going to line them up. You don't even really have to line them up exactly. If they're just on top of each other, that's fine. So now I'm going to duplicate my this card again. And then maybe this is a different front card, so I'll change the color. Okay, and then I'll say card front two or whatever it is you decide to make that card. Once again, I'm just going to take it and move it. And then I'm going to duplicate this card. And the reason why I'm duplicating them one at a time and not duplicating them all at once because of the order feature. So basically, whatever is the most recent object that was created will be on top. So we don't want to duplicate a bunch at one time because then you'll have to deal with reordering each of those cards. So then I'm just going to keep duplicating this and then changing my card. Okay, so once I've created the number of cards that I like, I'm just going to take these that I've created first and just add them to the stack. Okay, so they'll naturally stack on top of each other. Once I've done that, I can just highlight over my whole stack and select the whole thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Arrange, and I'm going to go to Align, and I'm going to click Center. And then I'm going to go there again go to align, and then go to middle. Then what it does is it stacks all my cards together. And then I can move this stack wherever I want, and it will move the whole stack for me. So once I have my initial stack, I can easily duplicate this whole set. So again, what I can do is highlight the whole thing, and then just Command D, and then move the stack. And then you'll see that my whole stack has been duplicated if I move move it. Let's test it out to see if it works. So here's my card back. Um, if I delete it, there's my card front. So I will just click delete. It will simulate card my card flipping. So now if you ever want to rearrange your card set, all you would have to do is one at a time, bring your card to the front. So for example, since I made this whole set after I made this first set, all the cards here are would sit on top of these cards. So if I want to rearrange these cards, bring this to the front, all I would have to do is go to Arrange, Order, and then Bring to Front. So now you can see that the, this card will sit on top of this card. Um, and I can continue to do that and, shuffle, and randomly shuffle uh, my cards um, until I have my cards in a different order. Okay, so here, I'm going to bring this to the front, actually. Just make sure you switch which cards you bring to the front. So a front card to the front first, and then a back card to the uh, front. Again, highlight the section, 
And just be careful that you don't highlight the other cards. Maybe move these out of the way. And just highlight the cards you want to bring to the, to rearrange, to realign. Go to arrange, align, center. And then again, middle, and then move them. And there you go. You've re rearranged your cards. And that's how you create a card flipping effect using Google Slides. And that's it. Thank you for watching.